So the left hold. Go, 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 go. Stop. Stop right here. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Bring me up here. Stop, right there. Stop. Hold it, cover for me. One thirteen Baker. We're making entry from the uh, from the east side at Preston, Maine. Some insecure little man boy went into a bank in Louisville and shot up the bank. Apparently, he worked there. What's the deal with people going back to their place of work and shooting the place up? It's becoming a trend. The Walmart dude, this guy, I'm sure there are a bunch of others. What was your boss just an ass? And you were like, okay, I'm gonna pick that place. Did they not have a non-binary option when you went to go fill in all of your employee docs? You're just so mad at that. Now this imbecile actually live streamed this whole situation. I've looked, I can't find the video anywhere. Police descended on an old National Bank branch in downtown Louisville to find a gunman still firing shots. The suspect has been identified as. The shooter likely wanted people to see this. They wanted to, he wanted them to witness this. That is absolutely horrific. Additionally, we know that he also had it streaming live on Instagram. That says a lot. This shooter wanted attention to be drawn to what he was going to be doing. Almost you know, almost seen as legendary. We went onto this guy's social media profile and this is what he had put on here the morning that this happened. I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. Then don't do it. Figure your life out. I could burn this whole place down. They won't listen to words or protests. Let's see if they hear this. What exactly are you protesting? And why should people care? about your protest. The protest is for you, right? Like if I'm driving my truck through a big city and I see a protest, do I need to stop and say, wow, thank you guys. Thank you so much. What are you protesting? Oh, that women should be able to have dicks? Absolutely. Let's hear what you have to say. You know what, I'll sign whatever petition you want. Hell, I'll even donate mine. Is that what y'all want? It kind of seems like that's what y'all want, but that's not reality. People don't care. People have their own issues. People have their own crap that they deal with. People have their own stuff that they want changed. But who are the people who are always consistently protesting? The ones who are not confident in themselves. They're insecure. They have to have everyone else seeing what they're doing. And this guy's no different. He's got his damn pronouns in his LinkedIn profile. Wow, okay. Well, from what I can see, you're a male. I'm not gonna say you're a man because you're about the farthest thing away from that after doing what you did. So what are you clarifying for people? It's the goofiest thing I've ever seen. It's almost worse than a female that goes by male pronouns. As a male, do you really feel like you have to clarify? If you feel like you do, that's probably a problem, man. You should probably go to the gym, grow your chest hair out a little bit, I don't know. but. Having to put it on your LinkedIn profile? Hey dude, what are your pronouns? I don't fucking know, dude. I mean, I haven't decided yet today. What are yours? He, him. Are we kidding? Is this a thing? I didn't know until today. So I guess this is just where we're at. 113 Baker, we're making entry from the uh, from the east side at Preston, Maine. I think I got him down. I think he's down. You're down, I'm off now. So look, at the end of the day, we need to stop this. And in my head, I'm trying to figure out how I personally can be prepared to deal with something like this everywhere I go. Because at the end of the day, it seems like more and more people who are pronoun conscious, who are um, delusional about their sex, who maybe just have mental health problems, are resorting to shooting people up. And the sad part about this is that it can happen at any time. You may be watching this and saying, oh, well, it's just a one-off. Well, is it? These people are everywhere. Everyone needs to go out into the world tomorrow thinking that today a mass shooter could walk into the gas station that they are presently in, that a mass shooter could walk into the grocery store, that a mass shooter may show up to their kid's school tomorrow. Everyone needs to have that mindset and plan their day accordingly, which means carry a weapon that would be able to defend against someone like that. Make sure you know what you're doing with that weapon. If you're an adult, you should be confident 
that if a mass shooter or someone who just wants to shoot a place up walks into a store, that you can take them down, that you can protect the area, that you're not relying on anyone else, that you're not relying on a security guard who you have no knowledge on if he's really trained or not. You have no knowledge of, is he really locked in or is he playing Angry Birds on his phone? And then we get to the most important part, kids. No one should be let in and out of schools except if you work there, if you're a family member, or if you go there. Why else do you need to go there? Arm a school like Joe Biden's kids go there. How hard is it to do that? Take a budget from an agency, I don't know, the FBI, the ATF. Take their budget and put it all into making sure that our kids are protected. And teachers, I think they should be given bonuses for carrying a gun in school. That way, if one of these idiots walks into their classroom, you've got someone to defend the future of our nation. But here's the scary reality of this. None of this is going to stop until these people are scared, until they are scared to go out into public and say, you know what, I'm gonna try to do a mass shooting today. Because they know, as soon as somebody sees them in a store, in a bank, in a school, wherever, they're getting mowed down by civilians who want to protect their own. And our government has to enable civilians. Having a police isn't enough. They can't be at every place at the same time. We have to protect our own.